In this video, I am going to discuss about uh, the digital temperature sensor DS18S20, which is having an inbuilt uh, one wire uh, bus support. And how to uh, interface this sensor to an Arduino Uno board, I will also demonstrate in this uh, video. Here, we can see this is the sensor which is having three leads ground supply and uh, data pins and uh, the data pin is connected uh, to pin 2 of Arduino Uno board and over this um, uh, pin only the sensor will uh, communicate uh, the temperature data to the Arduino Uno board. So this sensor is available in different package in my uh, demonstration I have selected a TO92 uh, package which is having three leads. The temperature uh, uh, range of this sensor is minus 10 to plus uh, 85 degrees centigrade and no external components are required except a pull-up resistor. This is the internal configuration of the DS18S20 sensor. So the, the sensor can be powered in two ways. One is we can connect external power supply. In other way also we can uh, so, uh, uh, power the sensor. So whenever the data uh, pin is high during that time uh, there is a capacitor which he will charge and this capacitor will uh, power the sensor and this is known as parasite uh, sourcing mode and uh, this is the other uh, uh, blocks of the sensor temp that is it is having a uh, scratch pad so which stores the temperature data and it is also having a uh, facility to store uh, the user alarm so the user can store uh, can set a temperature so whenever the uh, temperature reaches the particular uh, limit then the sensor can be used for uh, triggering an event so this is the scratch pad uh, in detail so there are uh, total uh, nine bytes so first two bytes will represent the temperature data and the other two bytes will represent uh, the alarm setting that is user alarm setting so the alarm setting uh, can be uh, set by the master that is microcontroller so it can be stored in the e square prom so which is permanently stored that is non volatile uh, memory so byte 8 is uh, crc which is the error uh, checking for the remaining bytes of the scratch pad so this uh, each slave that is each sensor ds18 s20 is having an 8 byte that is 64 bit uh, rom to store an address id code so this is the 64 bit First 8 bit will represent the family code for DS18S20 it is 10H and for all different types of sensors the family code will change and uh, the 48 bit uh, serial number is the identification unique identification of particular sensor because of this number of uh, sensor because the on the bus so the, the different um, sensors can be connected because each sensor can be uh, addressed uh, individually and this is the 8 bit uh, CRC so this is the CRC address uh, checking for this uh, remaining uh, 58 bit sorry 56 bits the core functionality of ds18 s20 sensor is it's direct digital to analog temperature sensor no need to have any uh, analog to digital converter so the data that is coming from this sensor uh, is directly of digital nature so the ds18 s20 powers up in a low power ideal mode to initiate the temperature measurement so the master that is the microcontroller must issue a command to the sensor so that is uh, convert temperature command which is of 44H uh, that is an hexa value and following the conversion the sensor uh, will uh, store the 2 byte temperature uh, in the scratch pad memory and the sensor will uh, return into it the ideal state. And the master reads the temperature data by reading the scratch pad uh, bytes so by giving a command BEH that is the hexa value so other commands uh, for the sensor are write scratch pad that is 4EH which allows the master to write the two bytes of the data that is byte 2 and byte 3 to uh, DS18S20 scratch pad so this is the alarm setting so the user can set the alarm in the byte 2 and byte 3 and copy scratch pad that is 48H uh, that is the hexa value and uh, this uh, command will copy the content of the byte 2 and byte uh, 3 to the E square from because this is the alarm setting so which need to be non volatile and for this it need to be stored in the E square from for interfacing the temperature sensor DS18S20 to the Arduino Uno board so the one wire library because this sensor is supporting one wire protocol the one wire library need to be uh, downloaded 
and uh, this is the link for uh, the one wire library i have already downloaded this library and the downloaded library need to be uh, copied and to be pasted in the uh, path where the arduino software is installed program files arduino and uh, this is the path so i have already uh, uh, pasted this one wire library coming to the software code so this is the pin 2 uh, where the temperature sensor is uh, connected to the uh, arduino board so pin 2 of arduino board is connected to the data pin of uh, the ds 18 s 20 temperature sensor and uh, these are the uh, initializations so and uh, here the temperature uh, data that is read from the sensor is uh, displayed on the serial monitor of the Arduino software because of this the serial uh, baud rate is defined 9600 and some text is also displayed on the serial monitor so the, the master that is microcontroller Arduino board will issue uh, reset pulse to the sensor and after that the micro master that is microcontroller is issuing a temperature conversion command that is equivalent to 44h which i have discussed in the uh, video and after that the data that is available in the byte uh, 0 and byte 1 of uh, the scratch pad uh, is uh, read by the um, microcontroller so this is the command so on the red uh, temperature is displayed on the serial monitor so this is how I have connected the temperature sensor on the breadboard and this is the pull up resistor. So these are the jumpers for connecting the temperature sensor to the Arduino board. So the data key pin of uh, this uh, sensor is connected to pin 2 of uh, the Arduino board. And this board is uh, available in the COM3. So this is the COM3 in the serial monitor of the Arduino software. This is the temperature uh, display. This is the text so which I have uh, included in the code. So when I rub the temperature sensor, we can see a raise in temperature. So 31 is going to increase to 32 degrees centigrade. Like this, you can uh, use this sensor for monitoring the room temperature or atmospheric temperature and it can be displayed on the LCD. Here I have uh, displayed on the serial monitor of Arduino software. So you can use for your uh, as per your application point of view. Thank you for watching my video.